Genesis 20 to 1 to 18. And Abraham moved his camp from there to the south country, and settled between Kadesh and Shur. And he lived in Gerar as an immigrant, too. And Abraham said of his wife Sarah, She is my sister, and King Abimelech of Gerar sent and took Sarah. 3 And God came to Abimelech in a dream at night and said to him You are a dead man on account of the woman you took when she had a husband. 4 But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said Lord, will you kill even an honest man? 5 Did he not say to me she is my sister? And so did she say he is my brother, it was unintentionally and innocently that I did this. 6 And God said to him in the dream I myself knew it was unintentionally that you did this, and I on my part held you back from sinning against me, that was why I would not let you touch her. 7 But now give the man's wife back, because he is a prophet, and he shall pray for you and you shall live, but if you do not give her back, know that you shall die, you and all who belong to you. 8 And the first thing in the morning Abimelech called all his servants and told them the whole story, and the men were very much afraid. 9 Abimelech called Abraham and said to him What have you been doing to you's? And what wrong have I done you, that you have brought a great sin on me and my kingdom? You have treated me in an unheard of way. 10 And Abimelech said to Abraham Who sent you to doing this? 11 And Abraham said Because I thought decidedly there would be no fear of God in this place, and they would kill me on account of my wife. 12 And besides, she really is my sister, she is my father's daughter, only not my mother's, and she became my wife. 13 And when God made me a wanderer away from my father's home I said to her This is the way you shall befriend me, in every place we come to, say he is my brother. 14 And Abimelech took sheep and cattle and slaves and gave them to Abraham, and gave him back his wife Sarah. 15 And Abimelech said Here you have my country before you, live in the part that seems best to you. 16 And to Sarah he said Here I have given your brother a thousand shekels of silver, here you have it for an eye cover for everyone who is with you, and with everyone you are vindicated. 17 And Abraham prayed to God, and God made Abimelech and his wife and his slave women sound again, and they had children, 18 For Jehovah had barred every womb in Abimelech's family by reason of Abraham's wife Sarah.